Heated exchanges have taken place in the European Parliament as legislators from across the 27-country bloc discussed the ongoing deadly violence in the Middle East. EU leaders were urged to do more. I call on them to refer Israel to the International Criminal Court. If the EU once again stands by, it buries the viability of a two-state solution. It was highlighted how no sanctions are being considered by the EU against Israel over the regime's crimes against humanity. The bloc does not hesitate to apply sanctions elsewhere. What about the EU? We have come to the sad point where nobody seriously expects anything consistent from us. Many lawmakers describe the persecution of Palestinians at the hands of Israel as a campaign of genocide and ethnic cleansing. We cannot forget the source of this new round of violence. It was the increasing number of demolitions, of evictions, of forced displacement of Palestinians. However, just like in the US, there is a strong Israel lobby in the EU. The European Parliament is made up of 705 members. We have to stand by Israel against terror groups who see Seek its annihilation. But there appears to be a clear majority who are critical of Israel's actions. What is going on is nothing else than war crimes. Rights groups, civil society organizations and unions have been adding their voices to the debate. We're very worried about what's going on in Israel and Gaza and all our members are. And therefore we are calling for immediate peace action. It's been acknowledged that over the years this subject has been raised in the European Parliament on countless occasions. How many more debates and resolutions must we have? We are failing the Palestinian people. We need less talk. We need more leadership. Several lawmakers made the point there can be no military solution to this crisis. Therefore, they argue, EU nations and the US arming Israel is certainly not the answer. Jerome Hughes, Press TV at the European Parliament, Brussels.